directly integrated into the engine. The temporal anti-aliasing, specular anti-aliasing, and order-independent transparency. Amazon Lumberyard is the first game engine to directly integrate all three of these techniques. So let's follow the camera into the scene here. We're going to go into the bistro. So as we come in, we see the scene as a very high-frequency, detailed scene. There's lots of opportunities for different kinds of aliasing artifacts. We're going to come along the bar here, and there's lots of things here that have specular highlights, and they're very stable in this scene. But now let's take a look at the same scene with the temporal and specular anti-aliasing turned on. I'm just going to pause it here for a second and point out all those hot spots on the woodwork and the bottle. And as I start it running again, you're going to see that the specular highlights on the bottle are not stable. They flicker quite heavily. And same on the woodwork. So let's see that again with the temporal and specular anti-aliasing turned back on. And you see it's very stable now. None of those artifacts are present anymore. Now let's take a look at some glass. We have these nice wine glasses here. And again, I'm going to pause the simulation for a second here. I'm going to look at those wine glasses and notice that you can see the reflections on the front and the back of every one of those glasses. And when you look at the tumblers on the side here, you can see the ice cubes quite clearly are inside the glasses. So let's let this run forward again. And we're going to take this again with the order independent transparency rendering turned off. And as it moves, you can see that those reflections are now whatever one happened to get rendered last is the one that you can see. And if you look at these glasses, you see something very strange. The bottom of the glass is in front of the side of the glass. And this is typical with rendering objects that are transparent in any sort of game engine that, that is generally used today for good performance. <coughs> this is a hard problem to solve. But with the order independent transparency technology we're using here, We'll see this again. We have stable glass, correctly rendered from back to front, no artifacts. So let's take the camera back outside the scene again. We have lots of high frequency detail here, both in the foreground and the background. This is with all of the, the specular and temporal filtering on. Now let's see this again with it off. You can see heavy flickering in the background and on the surface of the road. So we're going to take that one last time with the filtering all back on. These are all the techniques running at once. It's much more stable. It's not perfect. Tiny bit of flickering on the table there, but it's a big step forward. So Amazon Lumberyard and Vita Gameworks moving towards film quality pixels. So I want to thank NVIDIA for having us here today. I also want to thank our community for their continued support. Uh, my team and I will have a demo of what you just saw in the hands-on area later today, where you can swing by Amazon's booth later this week to see much more. Thanks very much.